Oh, huh? Huh? Oh. Oh, I must have fallen asleep while imaging. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, the observatory's still open. It's morning. The sun's out. The observatory's open. You missed! Uh. So after a few close calls with birds and getting my telescope uh, pretty dirty, I decided to install an automatic roof opener. Um, it's, I'm still prototyping it. I've got a lot more work to do. Um, I got some tweaks and stuff, but here's how it works. There's um, a magnet at the top and I've, I've just got the magnet sitting in there. So I'm a little nervous about running it too much right now. Uh, until I could drill a hole in that steel and, and make the magnet permanent. But for now, um, this is how it works. I push the button and the roof opens up. And when it, when it gets to the next magnet, it stops it. And if I push the button again, then the roof closes. So there's a few more kinks to work out, but overall I'm pretty happy with the way it's working. I decided to go with the rack and pinion. I decided to go with the rack and pinion uh, as opposed to the chain because I didn't like the way that the chain was loose in places and, and tensioning it. Um, and then of course I saw Glenn's video uh, on Astrobloke and uh, he was using a rack and pinion and it seemed to work pretty well for him. The big difference that I did was I decided to mount mine horizontally, as you can see. Now I've got the cover off because you have to supply power to this separately, but also because I have an Arduino coming and I, I've got it on order and a relay and I want to try and use that to set it up so that uh, in an imaging sequence I can tell the roof to open up and then run the image, or the imaging sequence, and then after the imaging sequence is over, I can close the roof and park the telescope and uh, warm the camera back up. So that's the idea, that's the premise behind it. Um, it has taken me a couple days of work to just get this far. Uh, I wasn't exactly sure how this was gonna work because it was an afterthought after I had built the observatory. Um, but it seemed to work okay. There's a couple of holes that I did have to, make, have to make in the observatory, and I'll show those to you now. So unfortunately, I did have to cut out the, enough uh, space for the magnet and the rest of the rail to go out the back. Uh, in order to open up the roof completely, uh, I needed extra rail, and it needed to go somewhere. So I had it going off the back. Um, what I'm going to do is put some brush, some brushes right here, and uh, that way when the roof, it'll pass through it and just split the brushes and, and then split them back when it goes back out, just to keep a little bit of the moisture out. On the front, I didn't have to cut as big of a hole, just large enough for the magnet to slip through. And here's the magnet right here. 
And when it reaches that plate, it knows to stop. And it's completely adjustable. And the plate that it's on right now, I just have it sitting underneath the rail. And what I'm gonna do is, is drill a hole uh, right there with the roof open and then go ahead and put a put a leg screw or two probably two uh, through these plates so that this will never move and then I'll go ahead and um, get this aff affixed a little bit better too. the magnets. I have all the pinouts for the control board um, and it could do quite a bit of stuff here already um, and with the Arduino and um, a relay board, I should be able to set up for everything, including a weather station possibly in the future, um, so that the roof will automatically close if it looks like bad weather is going to come down. I also wanted to point out what a mess the, uh, the observatory is at the moment. I had to get the vacuum out. I've got tools and boxes and drill bits and a ladder. Sorry about the bright light. I've got more mess. I keep, uh, I keep vacuuming as I go, but it's been pretty wet and humid and rainy here, so I haven't had a whole lot of dust. Uh, the telescope and all the, and the camera and everything have um, stayed pretty relatively clean for the most part. I was going to cover them, but I didn't really have to, so I didn't end up covering them. Because the roof needs to open all the way up. I did have to have this sticking out in the back. I'm going to have to paint it to match the observatory. Um, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, it looks big right here on, on camera. But when you get out to the road and look this way, um, you could barely even see it actually. So I don't think it's too big of a deal. Um, I just don't like the holes that I had to, to leave. And so I do need to get some weather stripping. And, and seal around the edges with some silicone. So another cool feature of this, and I'm, I have to get down under here to show you, is this locking key. And when this is open, it, it will um, it'll unlock the gear. So the gear right here will, will freely spin. I could open and close the roof manually. Um, I'm not in a position where I could actually move the roof because it's pretty heavy. Here we go. And uh, when I lock it back up, then the roof's basically closed. So it's also like a security feature as well. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please smash that like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next video. Uh, I'm gonna keep pushing this button because this, this is freaking cool. Look at this. I love it. I love it. Oh, stop. Go back. Just the best. Hey, we'll see you guys.